Good day, guys. So the time is finally over. King Kosi has finally graced us with her presence. If you guys remember, yesterday Big Brother gave Willie the head of house a brief, and in that brief, Big Brother asked this housemaid to get ready and prepare for a major guest that will grace them today. For the housemate, they didn't know who might be coming, but for us, the viewers, Big Brother has already told us on their official website and their Twitter official page that Kosi and some other guys will be gracing the housemate. But for someone like Yolanda, Yolanda has a, had a dream where she felt like a BB Titan housemate will be coming. She didn't call the person, she didn't call the name of the person, but she felt like she had a dream that a female housemate from the BB Titan will grace them today. And then luckily for her, Kusi grace them with their presence. So guys, I welcome you to today's video. In this particular video, I'm going to be explaining to you everything that happened during uh, Kusi's visit to the house and uh, how the housemate welcomed her. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please do the needful, like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you will be notified whenever I drop a new video. And don't forget, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. So let's move into the reason why we are here. If you already know, King Kosi has graced us with her audience. This is the first time she is back into the house. And uh, she didn't just come single handedly, she came with uh, another guy, where Pila or Pile. I don't know how to pronounce them, but people in South Africa, please help me with the pronunciation in the comment section. They grace the housemate with their presence. And before that, the housemate have been uh, cooking up some storms they prepared different delicacies like it was a massive feast that the housemate we are gearing up for it's better to be ready than not be ready so this housemate we are ready with their feast and uh, Kosi came in they presented their flowers they hugged it out and everybody introduced themselves one after the other so willie as the head of house introduced himself and a uh, young papi chuenza liema all these housemates they were hugging and uh, mac jr was kind of like we all know mac jr is a lone wolf the guy doesn't like uh the guy doesn't like uh, too much gathering, so he was just left alone. When when all the housemates were done, he just went in there, said his hellos to the guests, and then went his way. So Papi took the guests and uh, some other housemates, Yolanda, Shwenza, they took this housemate to visit the house. And guys, if you remember, Kosi is so familiar with the house because this were their home during the BB Titan. So she was so familiar with the house. But her surprise was that during their time, Big Brother didn't uh, equip the housemate the same way he did. The design, the organization, everything was uh, top notch. Kosi also congratulated the housemate on uh, how neat they are but us the viewers we know that uh, the result of that neatness is out of the punishment big brother has given this housemate and also the uh, how many times big brother has uh, called them out from being dirty so kudos to them for picking up on where uh, on what big brother said and they uh, kept the house clean for the guests so kosi congratulated them for the for their neatness they took kosi around the house took her by the garden Papi, as the roommate to the head of house, took her to the head of house, and inside there, Willie also came and introduced himself, uh, reminded Kosi that he is the head of house, not Papi, because Kosi was feeling Papi was the head of house, since uh, he was the person uh, taking her around in the head of house room, so Willie uh, introduced himself as the head of house, and uh, Kosi was happy, Kosi took out some apple from the fridge inside the head of house room. And uh, they went down, they visited all the rooms in the house. Everybody showed Kosi their room. They also showed Kosi where the whole coffee with Kosi started. If you guys remember during BB Titan, Kosi was the first housemate to introduce a new show inside the show, which she titled uh, Kosi, uh, Coffee with Kosi. So if you're a fan of Kosi, I will urge you to go check out her YouTube channel with the same name, Coffee with Kosi, where she brings all the BBE housemates and does interviews with them to get their view on the uh, get their view on everything that has been going on when they were inside the house and outside the house. So check out Coffee with Kosi if you're a Kosi fan, or just check it out if you're a fan of Big Brother to see how far she's gone. So moving on, they showed her her previous bed, which she was happy to see. 
and everybody was jubilating and then they went down to the dining area so the housemate during their lunch started reminiscing on uh, the first day they came into the house their highlight of the house everything that they've come through to be in this house and uh, Kosi also shared her instances and everything that happened to her because she also revealed to the housemate that she almost gave up after the second week being in that house that she felt like she wasn't a uh it's strong enough to be in that house that she wanted to give up but luckily for her she didn't give up and then uh, she's urging she's also urging this housemate not to give up to always bring their a game whenever there is something for them to do to always be there and entertain us and uh kosi dropped a bomb on us that she's married but uh, i don't know of course according to sx asked her if she was married if she was single and uh, she told else that know that she wasn't single that she's actually married and it came as a shock to all of us because we didn't hear anything we didn't know anything us viewers of big brother we didn't know anything so kosi dropping that bomb saying that she's married took us as a shock but uh, she later emphasized on the whole marriage thing saying that it's a low-key something that the marriage is a low-key something that they're actually waiting for the right time and the right money to come to finance the whole wedding and make it and do a bigger wedding celebration so guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section are you as shocked as i am with the bomb cosy dropped on us that she's married or have you known uh, all along because us uh, the housemates we are all in shock nobody nobody knew that cosy was married, but i can understand their shock because they have been in that house for over a month so moving on the housemate had a good meal and then they started one after the other introducing themselves telling us the kind of skill they have and the kind of skill they want to acquire and uh, life for them uh, if they leave the house so Kosi started off by talking about herself and uh, her life after the show how everything changed for her as the winner and then how everything changed for other housemates who didn't have the opportunity to win so Kosi was giving them advice on what to do if they leave the house and uh, how to channel the whole publicity that comes with being a bb and zanzi housemate so after that the other house the other guest that came also introduced himself to the housemates everything that they require to know if they want to go into entertainment industry of course for him he is also a part of the entertainment industry he gave them guidelines on what to do and what not to do if they want to grow their audience and grow their traffic as entertainers they have to do this and abstain from this so after that the housemates started once again uh, one after the other introducing themselves saying what their passion is what uh, led them to come into the house the reason why they are here and uh, what they want to what they want to do immediately they leave this house so they started uh, talking someone like uh, papa goose took his time he waited for all the housemates to talk before he said his own but people were in kind of feeling Mac Junior's speech because he said that he doesn't care about the uh, entertainment industry that he works nine to five and then uh, he's looking forward to going back to the nine to five but let's all be honest that's not uh if i'm being honest from my own point of view he's full of shit because you can't tell me that you win a show like big brother with the whole publicity and everything then you uh, give up the whole publicity and go back to your nine to five he's full of shit that's what i have to say so moving on after the whole launch and everybody being happy talking getting to know one another again and all the housemen dropping uh, different things that the housemaid didn't know someone like Makeke. Makeke has been in that house since day one, but none of these housemen knew that he was a he was an orphan. Even to us, the viewers, it came as a shock when Kosi asked him what he want to do after the house. And then Makeke was like, "Yeah, I want to open a, an NGO." And if you guys remember when Kosi was in the house, Kosi also said something about opening an NGO, which she has done. She's running an NGO where she kind of feeds the homeless people and uh, gives out aid. So for Makeke to say that and saying that the reason why he wants to do that is because he was raised as an orphan. That kind of took the housemate as a shock. So imagine us, the viewers. It also took us as a shock. And uh, the question I would like to know is, if truly Makeke is an orphan, or do you think that she, uh, he noticed that Kosi 
is uh, running an NGO and uh, he wants to get into Kosi's good books. Let me know your thoughts about the whole thing that the housemates said, what their passion is, all these things. And uh, also, let me know, outside of the house, who do you think will go for what they want? Let me just know your thoughts in the comment section. So after that, the housemate gathered by the garden, they sat down and then they decided to play a little game of truth or dare. And uh, it was it a was, uh, courtesy of the guest. So they started playing the game of truth or dare. And uh, for each question, whether a dare or it or truth, the housemate must uh, answer. And uh, to spice things up and make it more fun, the housemate started uh, saying that if you are giving a truth or dare and you can uh, do it, you can answer truthfully or you can do the dare. You have to take out a piece of clothing from you. So the game started and then this, this housemate started off taking a uh, pieces of their clothing one after the other feeling the uh, the there or not answering honestly so after that uh, as the housemate we are busy playing the game with the guests big brother sounded the alarm the buzzer and it was time for these uh, guests to leave and they all shared hugged the hugged uh, went all around and uh, everybody in the house thanked uh, Kosi for gracing her for gracing them with her presence and also for the other guy for gracing them with his presence so in all things that happened today the housemaid has been uh, happy and the mood in the house has been uh, lit up and the uh, one thing i have to say about this whole thing is that when the housemaid were having their lunch uh, by the dining area it's as if uh Kosi was only there for Mish and Yolanda because these are the only two housemates that carried the conversation the other housemate i don't know if they were starstruck or if they were kind of shying away because they're in the presence of Kosi. like this housemate showed us another side of them that we didn't know or that we didn't see if not for Shuenza, uh, Mish and uh, Yolanda Kosi, the conversation that this housemate had won't go this long because the housemate were kind of for someone like Mpumi who we thought that is uh, outspoken when it was her time to speak Mpumi couldn't uh, articulate herself where she couldn't put words together to say her mind so it kind of shows okay maybe Kosi is the uh, is, is a king as we all know she is the she's king Kosi of Kosi and maybe the housemate we are starstruck from seeing her or maybe they we are not prepared enough for someone of Kosi's caliber let me know what your thoughts are in the comment uh, section do you think that this housemate has what it takes to utilize everything that they have learned during this uh, meeting with Kosi or do you think they will go back to being their normal self and uh, being boring and living happily ever after in the house let me know what your thoughts are and i'll see you guys in the next one please guys don't forget if you are coming across my channel for the first time hit the subscribe button turn on your post notification to, no to be notified whenever i drop a new video and please give this video a like i will appreciate that i hope to see you in another one stay blessed